Hi, this is Eric Ruderman from uh, Northwestern in Chicago coming to you with an update from the 2023 ULAR meeting in Milan for Room Now. Uh, on the last day of the meeting, uh, they presented a number of updated guidelines uh, from ULAR about a uh, treatment of a bunch of different diseases, and one of those included psoriatic arthritis. Those guidelines had last been published in 2019. And what they presented at this meeting was an update uh, taking into account uh, data that has become available in the last four years. Um, these were presented by Dr. Laura Gosek, and she highlighted a number of things that are a bit updated, nothing dramatically different. Um, she noted that there are several new drugs available to treat psoriatic arthritis, which was one of the things that prompted the update of the guidelines. And one more coming soon, a, a drug called bimakizumab, uh, that's another IL-17 inhibitor. Um, the key points uh, were mostly that they just kind of updated their approach. Um, they really moved uh, into more of a treat to target approach and really focused on that concept with the idea of getting into remission or low disease activity for our patients with psoriatic arthritis and adjusting treatment until you get there. Um, they really came down on uh, limiting steroids with really no systemic steroids as part of the management strategy. They talked about using non-steroidals, but very briefly before deciding that there was an inadequate response and moving on to a conventional DMARD. Uh, conventional DMARD included uh, sulfasalazine, methotrexate, and leflunamide, uh, but they did have a preference for methotrexate when there, was significant, when there is significant skin disease in these patients. Uh, they talked about biologic DMARDs. These come after a conventional DMARD, uh, and they stress that there's really no ordering in their recommendations for the choice of biologic DMARD. And this would include an IL-17 inhibitor, a TNF inhibitor, uh, the IL-1223 inhibitor, ustekinumab, or the newer IL-23 inhibitors. Um, they talked about using a JAK inhibitor after a biologic DMARD, or if biologic DMARD use was inappropriate for some reason. Uh, and then finally, they talked a bit about a premolast, which they don't seem to like very much at ULAR. They talked about the use of a premolast, uh, specifically for milder disease, and uh, specifically when a biologic or a JAK inhibitor would be inappropriate. Um, the other big update was uh, a look at uh, treatment according to domains of disease activity. And in many ways, this really reproduced where the GRAPA guidelines have gone for the last few years with the idea of focusing on specific manifestations of the disease. So they talked about using uh, methotrexate, a biologic DMAR, or a JAK inhibitor as options for enthesitis. Um, they talked about a TNF inhibitor or IL-17 inhibitor, or a JAK inhibitor as options for axial disease, uh, and uh, notably did not include an IL-23 inhibitor in that list. And they talked about considering other extra musculoskeletal disease, like uh, the skin psoriasis or the presence of uveitis, or inflammatory bowel disease uh, when choosing a biologic DMARD. And lastly, they talked about thinking about safety when making those choices. In the end, I think these, were, these new updates um, really reproduce a lot of what we've seen with the GRAPA guidelines in the last few years with the idea that psoriatic disease is a spectrum of disease and you need to pick treatments that address all the manifestations in any individual patient, particularly when there are manifestations outside uh, the joints or the antheses. Um, so I think this may be helpful with our approach. It wasn't a very regimented approach. Uh, it gives rheumatologists a choice to make treatment decisions based on their experience and what they think is best for the patient, but it lays things out in a way that we can usually approach and make good choices in conjunction with the patients and after our discussion with our patients. And that's pretty much it for uh, ULAR 2023. Uh, we'll see you soon at Room Now.